So, a Karen accused someone of stealing the other day. Well, at least annoyingly scatting over jazz hasn't been invented yet. Oh, that must have been invented today! Oh yeah, all you cool cats and sexy ladies out there in YouTube land, relax, grab your cognac, leave a like on the video, and subscribe. Relax, everything's just copacetic. Twenty twenty is going out like a lion. It's the gift that keeps on giving. As we see, an insane video captured by Grammy Award winning trumpet player Keon Harold. In this video, we see a woman people are calling Soho Karen accuse the man's 14 year old son of stealing an iPhone. Please, please don't show me. This is my phone. Show me. No, you don't have to no. explain nothing to her. Take the case off. That's mine. Literally, get it back. Please. Are you kidding me? You feel like there's only one one iPhone made in the world? No. Okay, then show me the. Show no, me all my you get get a life over yeah, there. No, What's on your last round? You better go use find find my iPhone. Go yeah, do that. Find my iPhone is off. Okay, on that right no, no, you can't. No, I'm the manager of the yes. hotel. I don't yes, care. He will. This is right my now. son. Hey, Did you see me just come downstairs out of the man. fucking elevator? Hey, I'm trying to help. Man. No, but you're not helping. I what am. you've been is disrespectful. No, I'm trying to settle the no. situation. We, I'm, I'm my son to... has nothing to do with her. No. I'm trying to figure yeah, out what's going on in the lobby. Show, then show me the proof. No, he's not leaving. Show me the proof. Hey, are you show me the proof. You better get on. I need you away. Let's go, kid. I need you away. I'm sorry. Better get on. We have what you you see you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta get on somewhere. No, please lady. get my phone back. I can't. Well, I cannot please, please. not have my phone. Listen, get the trumpet. The trumpet. This woman had taken an Uber to the hotel and couldn't find her iPhone in the lobby. For some reason, she accused a teenager of stealing her iPhone. Most iPhones pretty much all look the same. Unless you have some uniquely identifiable case or something. Maybe we could go see that Chaz Palm and Terry Paul Sorvino movie, Distracting Trumpet. It's of vital importance that these matters be attended to. The hotel is a fancy boutique hotel called the Arlo in Soho of New York. She demanded the teen give the phone back. The whole thing would be simple to solve, of course, but this Karen is too out of her damn mind to think logically. Go to the front desk, or ask to borrow someone else's phone, and call yours. If it rings, then it's your phone in the boy's hand. But she tackles a 14-year-old to get the phone back that she hasn't even proven is hers? And the trumpets, they go. She tackled him, searched his pockets, and they were then separated. Mr. Harold says she scratched him while he was trying to keep her away from his son. Harold shared the video and it quickly went viral and he says it's another example of racial profiling and false accusations against people of color. Oh also, an Uber driver found her phone later and brought it to the hotel for her to pick up. She had apparently left it in his car. No word if Karen's going to apologize. Probably not. The musician says he is shell-shocked from the incident and said, I wonder what would happen if it were different. If it were a black woman and there was a white 14 year old. They assumed he was guilty. The management didn't even question her as to why she would even think he had the phone. Here is his full statement. I am furious. We see this crap happening all the time, but it hits different when it hits home. I typically try to keep things positive, but nothing about this video is positive. The lady in this video assaulted my 14 year old son and me as we came down from our room in the Arlo Soho to get breakfast. This person quote unquote lost her iPhone and apparently my son magically acquired it, which is merely ridiculous. This incident went on for five more minutes, me protecting my son from this lunatic. She scratched me, she tackled and grabbed him. He is a child. Now watch it again. This lady is not even a guest at the hotel. She checked out of the hotel on the 23rd of December. Today is the 26th. Now watch as the manager advocates for the lady who is not even a hotel guest insisting and attempting to use his managerial authority to force my son to show his phone to the random lady. He actually empowered her. 
He didn't even consider the fact we were actually the guests. Now think about the trauma that my son now has to carry, only coming downstairs to have box day brunch with his dad. Then, her phone was magically returned by an Uber driver a few minutes after this incident. No apology from her after this traumatic situation to my son, not me. No apologies from the establishment. This shit happens so often, it needs to stop. If anyone recognizes this person, please tag or DM. The teen's mother, Caddy Rodriguez, also spoke up about the incident on Instagram. Before posting this video yesterday, we prayed about how this would impact us as a family and above all, how it would impact our son. We asked for advice from professionals and weighed the decision for several hours. The only reason we decided to go public and post on social media was because the hotel, which had a security guard on duty, let this young lady leave while waiting for the police to respond after she assaulted my son several times, which is not seen on this video because my son's father dropped the phone to protect our son. The police came and filed the report and said we had to wait three days. The hotel just went about their business after basically sweeping it under the rug with a, sorry this happened to you, not until they were faced with scrutiny through social media did they answer a post on Instagram. They answered a post on Instagram instead of going to my son and his father's room, which they were still checked in. We are hurt and saddened, but we are not people who want anyone to be falsely accused or want to ruin someone's life. Let's be mindful and spread love through this hatefulness. We will share the guilty party when we properly ID them. Until then, please do to others as you would want them to do to you. Okay, my problem here is you're saying you don't want to ruin someone's life, but then you're like basically saying that you're going to dox the person when you find out who they are. What is that about? Anyway, a manager did intervene and asked the team to show them the phone to verify the theft accusations. And again, no one thought to just call the phone? The Arlo has since issued an apology to Mr. Harold and his family. Their statement reads, We're deeply disheartened about the recent incident of baseless accusation, prejudice, and assault against an innocent guest of an Arlo hotel. In investigating the incident further, we've learned that the manager on duty promptly called the police regarding the woman's conduct and that hotel security intervened to prevent further violence. Still, more could have been done to de-escalate that dispute. No Arlo guest or any person should be subject to this kind of behavior. We want to apologize to Mr. Harold and his son for this inexcusable experience and have reached out to them directly to express our sincere regret and to offer help in dealing with this traumatic event. We are committed to making sure that this never happens again at any of our hotels. The NYPD are investigating a harassment complaint regarding the incident and the DA's office is investigating as well. People, of course, are comparing this to the other major New York Karen incident where someone falsely accused a person of color with the Central Park Karen Amy Cooper and the criminal charges she faces. Harold and his son had been staying in the hotel since early December, but he says they are checking out. She definitely owes my son an apology for sure, he said. I don't expect that, and if it were to happen, cool. If it doesn't happen, it's so much bigger than that. It's a narrative of what shouldn't happen in daily life in America. That's what it is. As always, let me know in the comments what you think of this situation. See you next time. You're still here? It's over. Go home. The question